Hello again, Nick. Um, yes, David. Yes, what is it this time? <laughs> <laughs> no, yet again, catching up on the wonderful things that are happening in the uh, city, uh, city of civic social media, Birmingham. Um, you were talking about the uh, very successful social media surgeries. Uh, what's the one-minute recipe for success for surgeries? Uh, it's, it's sort of, fundamentally, it's very simple to keep it simple. So you need a room with Wi-Fi in it. You need access to tea and coffee. You need tables. You need chairs. You need somebody to say hello to people when they come in and introduce them to their potential surgeons. You don't want to talk at people. You just want to sit them next to each other and let them discover together how the web is going to help an active citizen achieve something. Um, but the one thing I think, I think that's really important is you need to start with some social capital already. And if you haven't had a chance to sort of build it up in networks of bloggers or people who are likely to be surgeons or even networks of active citizens, you need to find, take some time doing that. Or you need to maybe borrow it from somebody else who's already done that. But of course, as with any, with any ingredient, if you borrow it, always remember to give it back. But um, it's, you can't just expect to say we're going to have a surgery and hope that surgeons will turn up and people will turn up to learn. You, you need to have already laid some groundwork, I think, for it to really succeed. But when you've done that, what we found in Birmingham, and I think other people have found this, is it's a really energising process for people who understand how to use the social web to sit next to an active citizen and show them how explosively possible this is for them and show them how easy it is for them to do. And after every surgery I do, I just go away feeling sort of lighter and more excited about all sorts of things. I think you also said it was a good way for uh, professionals to donate their time while at the same time charging for their time elsewhere. Yes, it is. And, and actually what's happened with us, with Podnosh, is that uh, the surgeries that we that the Birmingham Bloggers Group has been doing, we've, we've been organising those and learning from them. We do that on a voluntary basis. But we also now use surgeries in some of our work in neighbourhoods. Um, so it's also, it also helps you learn how to explain these things to people who don't use the sorts of languages we do. And every time you teach somebody in a surgery, you learn as much as you've, as you, you both learn as much as each other, I think. So just finally, how long does it take the people that come as patients to turn into surgeons? Well, we, we rec it doesn't happen to everybody, but we've had people who've done three sessions in Birmingham and come back in saying, right, let me teach somebody, step aside, I don't need your help. And, and the truth is, they know that they still get help, but th they're just like you are, just like I am, their passion to share this stuff with other people becomes really quite strong. So maybe three months, four months?